Washington, D.C. pastor for many years, and he's also written a lot of books and essays and poems. And this comes from a book called Ragman and Other Cries of Faith, written in 1981, I believe. And it tells the true story of the redemptive power of the risen Christ in an inner city setting. Hope you enjoy. to run. 
he was weeping uncontrollably and bleeding freely at the forehead, pulling his cart with one arm, stumbling for drunkenness, falling again and again, exhausted, old, old and sick, yet he went with terrible speed, and on spider's legs he skittered through the alleys of the city, this mile and the next, until he came to its limits, and then he rushed beyond. I wept to see the change in this man, I hurt to see his sorrow, and yet I needed to see where he was going in such haste, perhaps to know what drove him so. A little old ragman, he came to a landfill, he came to the garbage pits, and I waited to help him in what he did, but I hung back, I he climbed a hill, and with tormented labor, cleared a little space on that hill. And then he sighed. He lay down. He pillowed his head on a handkerchief and a jacket. He covered his bones with an arm blanket. And he died. Oh, how I cried to witness that death. I wailed and mourned as one who has no hope because I had come to love the rag man. Every other face had faded in the wonder of this man. I cherished him, but he died. And I saw myself to sleep. Did not know. How could I know that I slept through Friday and Saturday and its night too? But then on Sunday morning I was awakened by a violence. Light, pure, hard, demanding light slammed against my face, and I blinked and I looked and I saw the first wonder of all. There was the rag man folding the blanket most carefully, a scar on his forehead, but alive. And besides that, healthy, there was no sign of sorrow or age. Then I lowered my head, trembling for all that I had seen. I myself walked up to the right man, and I told him my name was Shane, for I was a sorry figure next to him. And I took off my clothes in that place. And I said to him, with dear yearning in my voice, dress me. And he dressed me. Lord, he put new rags on me, and I am a wonder beside him. The rag man, the rag man, the Christ. 